G'day and welcome to another exciting episode of Mike Abbott's Cooks where I show you simple steps to make delicious food. Today I'm going to make something called eggy bread. It's something I would make on the weekend for the kids. It's a great breakfast. They really love it. So stick with me and your family, friends and taste buds will thank you. So I hope you enjoy this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can grow my channel. So just before we start, as usual, let's see the ingredients over here. So there's really not much involved in this one. Bread, butter, eggs, cheese, salt, pepper, mixed herbs. That's it. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is to make a cutout in the bread. Keep that bit. Be careful not to break the edges and keep a little bit of width on the edges there. You need a bit of a barrier. So once your bread is cut out like so, get your butter and put some butter on all around the edges on each side. You can put one bread on top of the other. That will stop the butter spreading all over your board or your work surface. Until you get to the last side, in which case you can flip it into the pan if you like because there's going to be butter in there soon anyway. And I think you can see where I'm going with this. Get a medium heat, not too hot. Medium to low and let's put a little bit more butter in the middle of these, ready for the egg. Move those around a little bit to make sure that all of the inside is well greased, ready for the egg. Okay, we're going to crack the eggs into there. And you want to break, break the egg. Spread the yolk around a little bit. That's it. Let that sizzle for a little while. Reduce my heat a little bit. It's a bit smoky. At this stage, we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper also. Let that sizzle a bit and um, we'll turn it over after about a minute and a half. Okay, that's been about a minute, but I've had a look underneath and it's getting its color already. So we're going to do a quick flip. Bam. Ready, number two, bam. Very nice. So we're getting that nice fried bread effect with the egg in the middle, which is really crunchy and tasty and it's got that lovely butter flavor. Keep it on this side just, just long enough for the egg to cook and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so the egg is cooked now. I've turned the gas off. Next step is to put some cheese. I've sliced some uh, cheddar cheese here. So we'll put some fresh cheese across the top of these. And you know where they're going to go, don't you? Under the grill. So stick them on a plate. And this is where we add our little bit of mixed herbs on the top. And because I love pepper so much, I'll be putting a little bit of extra pepper also. Under the grill for a couple of minutes. And let's see that, I'm getting hungry now. I can smell it, I'm ready to taste it. Let's see how that's looking. It's been almost a minute. Oh yes, looking good. And what do you do with the cutout from the bread? Of course, you fry it as an extra little treat. Like the hole out of a donut, isn't it? What do you do with the hole in a donut? Well, this is what you do with the hole in an eggy bread. So here we are, plated up, ready to go, and you can see it looks great. Uh, this is your little centers that came out, so they're like a crispy, crunchy extra. And of course, the eggy bread itself, it's got the fried bread, egg, cheese, salt, pepper, mixed herbs and a little bit of parsley if you want to make it look really, you know, 
flash and presentable, and you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a weekend breakfast. You can add some bacon to it, whatever you like, but really tasty. Simple, quick, easy, tasty. Go for it. Enjoy, guys. Bye for now.